Cruise news, chaos in cruising. We have multiple evacuations, a fight, some medical issues, but also a lot of great positive cruise line announcements from Royal Caribbean, Disney, Princess Cruises, and more. We're gonna get you all of this information fast, coming up. Welcome to Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. I've got eight pieces of news for you. Let's go ahead and kick it off with number one, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas will have an artistic touch. Royal Caribbean has announced that they will be commissioning up and coming artists from places that the ship will be visiting to give the ship a distinctive Caribbean flair. These artists will paint nine large-scale murals on the ship and they will receive between $20,000 and $100,000 for their effort. Number two, Princess Cruises' newest ship, the Sun Princess, has floated out at the shipyard. This marks the completion of the first major construction phase, and the focus will now turn to building out the interiors. The Sun Princess will be Princess Cruises' largest cruise ship ever, 21% larger actually. The ship is highly anticipated and is currently set to debut in 2024. Number three, Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas cruise ship has had some engine issues. This occurred during the ship's cruise this past week, and as a result, the ship had to reduce its cruising speed and the ship's itinerary had to be adjusted due to the delays. To compensate, Royal Caribbean gave onboard credit to the guests equal to the value of one day of their cruise fare paid. And then the first of multiple cruise ship evacuations, number four, the MSC Maravilla had to have a passenger evacuated. This occurred while the cruise ship was at their private island called Ocean K. The captain made an announcement that the cruise ship needed to depart and begin heading towards Miami so the Coast Guard could perform a medical evacuation. As the cruise ship approached Port Miami, a Coast Guard vessel then came alongside and retrieved the passenger. As far as what happened, another guest on the cruise ship reported seeing a passenger rescued from the water at the lagoon in Ocean K. They noted that the rescued person was struggling to breathe and the situation was very serious. Number five, Royal Caribbean will be launching a new beach club in Nassau, Bahamas. This will be a 17-acre destination that Royal Caribbean is going to develop into, quote, the ultimate beach day. The location will be called the Royal Beach Club at Paradise Island and is currently scheduled to open in 2025. Number six, Disney Cruise Line will have a new Bahamas destination that will open in the summer of 2024. This location is called Lighthouse Point. It is a 700 acre property and Disney will be spending up to $400 million developing this. More information will be coming out on Lighthouse Point very soon. Before we move on to the next news piece, check out this shark feeding frenzy around a boat that was fishing off the coast of of Louisiana. I had to show this to you because this is just absolutely crazy. I have never seen so many sharks in my life. It's insane. How would you like to fall in that water? This is something straight off of a horror film. Moving on to the next news piece, number seven, a magician was tackled while performing on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. The magician alleged that this occurred while on the Quantum of the Seas. The magician was on stage with a chosen female guest. They both had playing cards in their mouth. The magician then leaned in for the kiss, at which time the playing cards would be swapped between the two. And then at that time, the magician, he got tackled, believed to be by the woman's significant other. Number eight, a pastor on board the Disney Magic cruise ship had to be evacuated. The pastor was a 37-year-old male and the cruise ship was near Louisiana at the time. The Coast Guard evacuation occurred Thursday night going into Friday morning and the cruise pastor was said to have severe abdominal pain. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video.